So we're here at the Silicon Labs right here and you have a solution with Apple HomeKit and hello, who are you? Yeah, I'm uh, Desmond coming from Silicon Labs uh, uh, Marketing and uh, here we are demonstrating a solution with uh, the Apple HomeKit and uh, Apple HomeKit is an application kind of uh, ecosystem and it doesn't matter whether the communication is BLE, Wi-Fi or Zigbee. Uh, all of these products, they went through the Apple certification and uh, you can see that uh, we have two PCB type of boards here. They are basically our development boards. So those are two different development boards you have? Yes, and uh, the small one here on the, on the left is a very complete uh, sensor board together with LEDs so that developers can, based on that, to make a very quick, uh, easy demo to realize certain product idea. And this one is a more complete development board so that the customer can even do uh, wiring and connect to different sensors, that kind of uh, uh, evaluation. Is this running an ARM Cortex M4? Yes, all of them are based on the ARM Cortex M4 and we are running at 40 megahertz and uh, we provide all our protocol stack and today our protocol stack is already BT5 certified. So you have here a wireless gecko now supports Bluetooth 5 technology for four times the range, 800% broadcast capacity, twice the speed. Yes. So and it's ready. Yes. And uh, we are ready and uh, every inform all the information is now available in our website. So if you are interested in our information, you can go to our website, www.circanlabs.com to see more information. And uh, here, the Computex 2017, what are you talking about? What's all the stories you have around here? So we have uh, the wireless connectivity. So here is the Bluetooth. Yeah. And the other one is our multi protocol So besides the BT, we can also talk about, we, we can also support the uh, Zigbee thread. And uh, even more is we have this uh, uh, switch protocol so that we can based on the same chip to support the different yeah. standards. So this is the same development board right here, the yes. Mi Mighty, no, Mighty Gecko is like an adapter you add to it? Yeah, so basically we, we have a different part numbers and with this Mighty Gecko we, we have the capability to support both the uh, mesh, which is the Zigbee or Thread or the Bluetooth. So customer can base on it to do a switch multi protocol and later on we'll also provide more uh, combination in terms of uh, protocol support. Can we look around at the booth? What else do you have yeah. over there? Let's go over there. Uh, over there you're talking about the... Uh, sorry, ooh. Uh, here you talk about sensors. So, um, in, in terms of the sensors, we have uh, the, our optical sensors and uh, with our optical sensors, uh, there is also uh, algorithm and uh, we do all this algorithm on M class of uh, device. So it can be M0, M3 and M4. And definitely M4 provide you better uh, computation power because we have the floating point capability. Especially so when we have a sensor for yes. heart rate. Yeah. And uh, this one, well, this one is a uh, development kit. That, uh, development kit. Data. Yeah. Development kit for what? For the show the, raw data. show the raw data. All right. Yeah. So you're showing the raw data right here. What is this board? Uh, what is connected here? Uh, this is a whole effect sensor. So you can detect the the, the magnetic uh, magnetic flow strands. So when you cross, you can see it the detect the what? Magnetic, magnetic sensor. Yes. Field. Yes. All right. This is a memory LCD, I guess. You have right here. So lots of sensors but from Silicon Labs. Yep. And uh, another stop here, you're talking about Atos. So yeah. we talked about the multi protocol uh, a minute ago. And with this Atos, it will be very, very uh, helpful for developer to understand how the system works and how the loading. Um, so what's your Atos? Our Atos is uh, from Micrium. So we acquired a company called Micrium in the beginning of uh, last year. And now we are showing um, this uh, Micrium OS so that we understand how the loading and how exactly the task is doing in the MCU for every precise moment. So how does Micrium compare with other Artos? Well, we are a complete Artos system. So in the market, I think most of the people talk about free Artos. And when, when we ask about the feature they like, they like the free, uh, for the free, free Atos. It's free. However, open source. However, for Micrium, we provide a full library. 
So no matter for Wi-Fi connectivity, USB connectivity, so we provide library um, and the customer can build based on that. It's not open source, right? No. Not open source. All right, so how, how big is Silicon Labs? Uh, we are almost a, a billion dollar company. We target, revenue we're targeting a billion uh, revenue by year 2018. And uh, so here is also some uh, isolation yeah. product. All right, hey. Hi, I'm so Tony. Here? Uh, I'm FA Ta on Taiwan. Um, so, uh, uh, maybe you don't know uh, uh, is isolation product is protect uh, protecting your life. And uh, uh, for example, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, for example, in your house, there's a, a different, uh, many, uh, many, many different kind of facility. And you can see you have a garage, garage door here, and the garage door already installed an uh, electric, electric vehicle charger inside your house. Once your car, a car back to your house, you need to recharge it. Uh, you need to, need to charge your car. Then the EV charger will talk you uh, will talk to the electric car, and the uh, and the, the, the car and the, the, the electric must be isolated. So there, you can see there are two isolate, isolation device uh, installed in your car. One is for communication. The other is for DC DC uh, in the DC DC converter circuit. The isolation yeah. has to do with the. Uh, high power security or what is it? That's, uh, that's for how, yeah, that you are correct. That's for high power uh, secure, uh, safety. Safety. You don't yeah. want to connect to the normal network. Yeah, because the, uh, if you don't you don't want to touch the AC two hundred thirty volt directly, right? So it's one hundred percent secure. Yeah, it's one hundred percent secure. One hundred percent. You're not gonna get one hundred percent isolated. Nobody's from the dying. Yeah, Nobody nobody's can die. Dying. Yeah. And uh, right here is the chips. Yeah, that's a, that's a leg, uh, that's a legacy product, le legacy package product, and then you can see this uh, in this very compact uh, package. It is supposed six up to sixty channel, six uh, uh, sorry six channels. So right. this is one channel and this is six channel. What's the architecture of these chips? Uh, it's not ARM, right? They're not ARM. Um, not ARM, something. It's just a, a capacitive, cap capacitive coupling signal right. circuit inside our chip. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that was, thanks a lot for the tour. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, uh, so more and more solutions coming, right? Yes, every sure. Year? Sure. And uh, we would definitely uh, working closely with all those ARM devices to make our solution better for the IoT markets. There is some new ARM uh, announced, uh, ARM V8M. Did you announce your part? No. Not yet? No, no. But uh, we, we are having this uh, 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 ARM tail core uh, for the higher security as well. So we are going to have a product uh, for, for that part as well.